Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Mayor's Monday message for March 22nd, 2021. Happy spring. Walk outside. It's a beautiful day. Uh, got some gardening in yesterday. So uh, I'm very excited that the spring is finally here. Um, unfortunately, uh, another horrible event this past, uh, this past week and uh, in our Asian American community. And uh, so I want to send out my condolences to our uh, Asian neighbors and friends and American A or Asian American uh, neighbors and friends. Um, probably everyone that spends time in the city of York knows how important our Asian American neighbors and businesses are to us here in this community. And, uh, you know, this is yet another tragedy of hate out in our community. So I just wanted to let people know that if you hear any kind of rumblings, um, if you hear people talking about committing any kind of acts of hate, you can call our tip line and let us know ahead of time so that we can, we can start investigating that. And the tip line number is 717-849-2204. That tip line is 717-849-2204. Uh, today is the third um, anniversary, I guess you call it, three years since we um, had the tragic accident, uh, the fire at the Weaver Piano Building, and uh, we've had uh, injured firefighters as well as we look the loss of life of two of our firefighters, uh, Ivan Flancha and Zach Anthony. And uh, I want to thank everybody that came out Saturday for an event and fundraiser. And uh, tonight there's also an event from 6 to 8 p.m. And it's a virtual event, uh, but it will be at, on location, on location of uh, what will be the new Memorial Park area uh, for our firefighters, uh, new gardens uh, being supported by York XL. Thank you. And uh, you can see the event tonight uh, on York XL's Facebook page. And we're also working on streaming it right now. I got Cliff. Cliff, are we working on streaming it? Yeah, I got a nod here. It. We're working on streaming it on White Rose Television also. Uh, so please join us tonight for a uh, celebration of life, remembrance of our friends and coworkers, and heroes of our community. That's tonight, uh, 6 to 8 p.m. Tomorrow, uh, we support our restaurants. Everybody knows, I think, by now that our restaurants have been facing some very, very hard times. and. Uh, tomorrow is Takeout Tuesday, so please take out <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, think about your your favorite restaurant and order takeout here in the city, and uh, let's let's support our local businesses. And uh, with springtime, as I mentioned, it is springtime today and yesterday. Fifteen, fifteen dirt bikes and four wheelers went by my house uh, all at once in a pack. So I want to let them know that uh, we, will be, we will be doing what we can to catch you and prosecute you. Um, we've got, it, it is unacceptable to be driving through traffic, to be just kind of, you know, just skirting all the laws and, and doing this. New York City is not a place to be riding dirt bikes or four wheelers. It is illegal everywhere. It's illegal in the parks, it's illegal on the streets. Uh, if you have these types of vehicles, there are tracks that you can go to, there are places, there are trails that you can go to, and uh, it's not in the city of York. So I believe last fall we did a duty that, uh, 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 we had a task force that, that was able to, I forget how many bikes were confiscated, but we will take the bikes. We will, you'll lose your property. Um, I believe over 80 citations uh, went out. And uh, that team is rolling and ready to go again. So uh, this is not your playground. It is not legal to do this here in the city. And it doesn't really help us. I, I have to say this. Uh, I know people have been sending me information. Dirt bikes went by my house and things like that. That doesn't really help us a lot because they move so quickly and they don't even have to follow the, the road. Sometimes they cut across the parks, down the rail trail. Um, sneak into backyards, you know, it, it, it's very hard to find them and chase them. But what we need are the neighbors 
to let us know where these dirt bikes are being stored so that when we are seeing them on the streets, we can prepare and catch them when they come back, get off their bikes, and then we can catch them at that moment. And uh, that is safest for everyone. We can't chase them. I won't say we can't. It's not safe to chase them. We don't want anybody to die. We don't want them to cause other accidents because now they're driving even more erratically. They're already driving through red lights and, and driving against traffic and things like that. Um, we want to catch them when it's safest. And so we need your help. The police can't do this on our own. The only way we can do this is if people give us information. So uh, you can send us information at dirtbikes at yorkcity.org. Or you can send it uh, to, uh, or you can call that tip line, 717-849-2204, and let us know. Say, hey, they're storing the four-wheelers back here. They're storing the dirt bikes back here. And uh, I just want to say, I'm not against the people. I'm against the action. You're causing chaos, and you're disrupting other people. Uh, I feel bad about it. I know it's not, you know, I know it's not the worst thing in the world when we have other crime. People are like, why are you after them when there's shootings going on? Because they're, they're ruining people's quality of life. They're putting themselves in front of everybody else. They're causing traffic problems. Um, and again, they're just... Uh, just ignoring the laws of our city that make it so that we can drive around and walk around safely. So we can't have these dirt bikes and four-wheelers driving around the city. So if you own one, uh, either take it out of the city or sell it. These are the laws. You can own whatever you want. Well, not whatever you want, but anything that's legal. But you can't drive it in the city of York. So with that, I hope you can enjoy your spring without riding a dirt bike through the city. And I hope everybody will get out in this gorgeous, gorgeous week that it looks like we're going to have and, and in, maybe do some gardening, maybe walk around the city, walk on the rail trail. Uh, of course, take out some food tomorrow and uh, enjoy our beautiful city of York. We'll see you around. Thanks.